it all began about, what would you say, five years ago? Yeah. About five years ago, and it just never really stopped since, did it? No. Well, at Christmas and birthdays, it was a tad more. Makes it extra special. Easter, occasionally. Valentine's Day, Father's Day, Mother's Day, Summer Solstice, Winter Solstice, Halloween. Especially Halloween. Trick or treat. Boom! Hi, I'm uh, Andy Gardiner uh, from Society of Strays. Thank you for coming back for day five, our last uh, day on our vlogs and blogs of uh, our GD life in lockdown. Hi, I'm, uh, I'm John. Uh, I'm part of Society of Strays as well. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining us for the week and we're going to have a little chat about Carl and Faith's video now. We had this idea a few weeks back, we'd gone into our second video, and I was like, already thinking big. I was like, oh, so wouldn't it be great if we had this thing called Stray of the Week where other people actually get involved and we like sort of expand on what, on what this could be to look at uh, to look at different things that we're interested in as well, that it, it doesn't necessarily, it's not just us in the videos anymore. Yeah, you were talking about other other artists, which, at the time who were, I don't know, probably feeling like we all have been probably pretty bored and pretty, um, I don't know, not really able to use your skills in any way. So yeah, you kind of thought, oh, well, why, why don't we reach out? And I had a few ideas for for some people and you, you had an idea for Colin Fate. What happened was, uh, once I'd, so I was, at, I think I was on a video call with them uh, and I was like, oh, me and John have had this idea. And then they both sat there and looked at each other and I was like, do you want to do it? And they were like, yes. And I was like, oh, brilliant, <laughs> great. So they're, they're involved. I don't know, can't remember if it was just like a mutual thing and it was, yeah. they wanted to do it and I wanted to ask them and I didn't know how. So straight of the week, um, this particular one or this, uh, this round, there's been, so there's been, there's going to be Carl and Faith, and there's also going to be Donna Leonard, uh, both of uh, which is really interesting because they're all the cast of The Little Prince, which I'm also a part of. <laughs> so obviously, yeah, it's your friends, uh, essentially, but also uh, incredible artists. The idea uh, uh, specifically for this uh, lies in something that's like quite autobiographical to, to me, but also a way in which we've been tracking the pandemic and the, uh, noticing this... Uh, this shift in, like everybody, this shift in change. You see things on social media, people are uploading videos. There's a lot of serious things happening mm -hmm. uh, just now politically and historically for our moment as well, socially. Um, and and it's in, an incredible time for change and looking at change, but also mm -hmm. how long things have been metaphorical monsters for. One experience that I kind of had was that I was working, I was working at the post office when I first sort of started uh, working at the post office, I had this, I don't know, I had this feeling, not only did I, uh, I, I felt like I wanted to contribute in some way to, to the cause, because it felt like there was a, a big uh, global sort of unity or, or a national sort of unity to try and uh, help, really. I just wanted to help out. On the first Thursday I was working, they did the, they clapped for the carers. Some people came away from where they were working and got in this big line and all, it was all quite emotional. I remember thinking at the time, like, oh, this is, yeah, this is, this is quite something. But then as the weeks went on, it really started to like fall apart in a way. Yeah. And, then, and then two weeks ago, there was, a, there was a really nice Irish lady who works there and it got to eight o'clock and she came on the, meg on the, on the big, it's a big factory on the, on the megaphone and starts singing, uh, uh, we'll meet again, I don't know where, I don't know when. But it was, it was, she sang it really beautifully. The sound quality was a bit bad and, uh, <laughs> and it became really broken, it became really broken really. And then, I don't know, it just became a very, very depressing situation. And like the, all, all the other workers, there was a few people who said, woo, you know, sort of taking the mick. And all of a sudden I realized that, oh, maybe I've been embroiled in this monster. In yeah. a way. I don't know, I felt like I'd been cheated a little bit. Yeah, there was this, was moment, really... of, there was this moment of morale boosting for her. She, she'd, yeah. maybe, she'd really gone to a vulnerable place to offer something and it just had a rapid yeah. decline for her somehow. What an image, I mean, I love that. Um, yeah, anyway, yeah. I feel like, we, we hold on to that uh, because that is a, that's a really good scene. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah, <laughs> let's thank that. yeah, let's thank that for us. Um, and the, the script was uh, felt so uh, chunky for Carl and Faith and for, for me. Yeah. me it, was, it, was, it was a big one, and it's like sort of an A B format, so it goes between like the game that we did, uh, yeah. the video, the game, 
Um, yeah, so there's a lot of me going flat and having to go by the script and, and also th th that in, to, order to order the editing. So that's coming out soon, but within Cal and, Cal and Faith's uh, video, um, there's, there's certain components that we ask or to edge towards including. So we get a variety of different shots uh, and we get a, a variety of different material for, for the video. So it's not just a static camera all the time. We know we've been in a pandemic. We know we've been stuck in one place. So we want a location where this character or these characters reside. And then we want a separate location where we usually ask them to do something physical. They're also given a lot of license themselves yeah. to you know there were loads of like artistic license to try and i don't know to create this sort of beast themselves the frame there and the text is made as well but then they're, they're totally able to interpret it however they feel in a way in a way but that but then i, I think as well because you know carl and faith uh they well what they came back with was really sort of in line with our own aesthetic and then andy's kind of used this sort of like really um I don't know, really sort of screechy sort of vi violin. I don't know, it adds like, it adds like a really sort of uh, tense, sort of angular, sort of obscure sort of feeling to the whole video. And then it's also, and then they're also shooting it on like, I don't know how, how like how, their own iPhone. That sort of DIY sort of quality really, really helps uh, to the whole structure of the, of, the, of the vision in a way. For me, I really like to watch this sort of candid, it's all, you know, you can imagine that them as a, you can imagine them as a couple setting up the camera and all that sort of yeah. stuff and, and creating this. For me, I don't watch the film and I don't think, oh, there's a crew behind that. This sort of home video. Yeah. We, yeah, um, exactly. Well, that, that home video is a uh, really nice uh, thing for me to just switch the, the thought on to th that's the interesting thing as well for us just now. It's like we would pick up like a family photo or an old, uh, video, like when camcorders mm -hmm. first came out and you that's the aesthetic you pick up you pick up that you put it on obviously the playback now is, yeah. is quite terrible the sounds really uh yeah. it can be a bit distorted so the idea of that we want that to come through somehow with the the sound that we we put onto the videos as yeah. well you look at the eight the 70s and i mean well, obviously wasn't around so yeah. i can't really comment. but yeah. there's like a washed out quality but there's like a really nostalgic sort of washed out feeling yeah. they've chosen this sort of communal guard, garden and i don't know it has something there's something about it itself and then you put them into it as well yeah and it brings on you know it, it it brings it brings it marries the two like they blend they almost disappear and blend into the uh the the setting or whatever yeah, yeah. And, and and the same happens in the living room they're, they're almost you know carl looks like he's the cupboard yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He belongs there. He just belongs yeah. there. Yeah, yeah they like, belong there. That's and the they do because like, it's their home, right, as well. Yeah. But what they what they managed to do with like yeah. what they put into the shot as well and, and then how they use that space. They're just yeah, yeah. complete complete uh, professionals. Two great people that I've been in the studio with and just uh, there's that complete trust there that yeah. you know, I can just give this very minimal direction and they can roll with that and, and bring me and this is like when I ask you to do something. I just, there's this complete trust. I know whatever I'm going to get sent back. Like, I, I'm, I laugh so much. And, <laughs> and, and this laughter that comes out of me is so guttural that I've had Matt, Matt going, like, from another room, are you okay? Like, cause it actually sounds like I'm hurt because I'm laughing yeah. so hard at what people... And I'm like, wow, people, dancers, uh, people in this, this, this type of field, dance theatre, is what they can just do so much. <laughs> and yeah. they just do so much. I'm like, what... Uh, this is this is just brilliant. It's just yeah. Yeah, but then I think it's about I think with, with dance theatre, especially when you're like I don't know. Oh, I, I think when you're making like character work, I think you just have to commit fully, don't you? Yeah. I think you just have to. Yeah, and at some point you have to like I don't know maybe throw away some inhibitions. Really, yeah. Do, you know, you don't worry about making a fool out of yourself because that you know that's the last that's the last thing you should worry about. Really, I think. But it's things we're seeing. Yeah, or it's, it's things that we're seeing, or it's things that we're finding funny, or things that we're inspired by, and then yeah. you try and yeah. harness that. Like I don't know, some of the conversations I've heard yeah. in the post office have been absolutely wild. Yeah, but, some uh, of the things we don't find <laughs> funny whatsoever, and, yeah. <laughs> and use it anyway <laughs> somehow in a dark yeah. way. Like it can be, yeah, this is something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I guess it's, I guess it's about you know the most mundane of situations, then trying to make you know, trying to find light from the mundane as well. As freelancers anyway, you have to, you have to kind of adapt to situations. I guess, I guess we didn't quite think that it would be forever. 
Yeah, that was, exactly. that's probably the that's probably the key. But we didn't quite think it would be forever. But then, but then, what's been great about it at the same time? It's kind of allowed a tiny. I mean, I've not enjoyed it. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm definitely going to say I've not in, I've not enjoyed the pandemic so much. But it has allowed some t- some time to work outside of a studio, and in a creative way. Yeah, in a cre- in a creative way, and also just use something new. Yeah. Uh, to 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 go forward with something to to go into a room full of characters from all, all sorts of different places bungled into one yeah it's gold yeah it's like yeah. it's like field work it's primary yeah, it's class field Research. work we're out we're out in the yeah. field this is the only reason we're working <laughs> yeah <laughs> we're to live, uh, but to get yeah. to get all this uh, research yeah. behind us so just uh, the stray of the week uh, is going to start in a couple of weeks um we're busy now editing and talking about uh, the way in which we'll uh, present uh, Carl and Faith's video. Uh, but what you saw before is some of the raw footage organised into um, organised into a way in which we could share some of that with you and uh, what the idea is. So we thank you for coming back to day five of our <laughs> vlog blog series for GD Life in Lockdown, and uh, we'll see you around. Yeah, take care. See you around. Thanks. Bye. Good morning. <laughs>